What's up? It's Embers. We're going to be talking about Planet of Heroes, and in this video, I'm going to be giving a tutorial and gameplay review of the Hero Candy. She is one of the three ranged heroes in the game, and she is essentially a softball player, which is quite an interesting take on a hero origin. So here she is, and this is her default skin. She does have another skin where she kind of wears almost like a grayish armor. And it'll certainly be interesting to see what other skins the developers come up for Candy because of that softball background. But let's talk about her first ability, which is Shock Balls. And essentially, you drop down 13 balls in a circle area. And if anyone walks over it, they get damaged. And they also get stunned if they get hit by 3. Her next ability is a slide, and this doesn't have any damage, but this is an excellent skill to have. I use this a lot, and I'm going to show you during the gameplay how well you can utilize this. Essentially, this is an escape along with a sprint. And during the slide, you avoid damage, and after the slide, you sprint for 2 seconds, which is extremely helpful to get out of danger. And her last ability is a supersonic ball, which is extremely hard to master, but highly effective. Essentially, what you do is you throw one ball in one direction extremely far, and the farther the target gets hit, the more damage it does. So essentially, uh, you know, if you can aim very well and you can hit something further away, it will do more damage versus if your target is closer. This thing does do a lot of damage, particularly when you start to get around level 6, 7, 8, and obviously 10. The Strikeout is a passive ability, and it increases the damage of your championship ball or your third basic attack after you have used three of your abilities. I don't really track this during my gameplay, um, so I can't really gauge how much additional damage it does. Here's the other skin, which is available, Astro Guard Candy. I misspoke earlier. I, I thought it was gray. Maybe I, I was just referring to the gray accents, but obviously it's a black and white outfit. And her hair is blue instead of orange. Uh, here are my here is my current rune setup. Um, it's it is set up for basically direct DPS damage on a single target. You can change these. So for instance, you know her ball will bounce off of multiple targets and do less damage and things of that sort. So you can kind of change it to direct DPS or to an AOE damage. Um, they're all different types of builds that you can do which is very exciting because once they introduce guilds or alliances and you start battling with your group you can have a very good strategy about how to attack that's also when i truly believe the support classes will get a lot of love because i know a lot of people like to play support but it's really hard when you play support in a pug match um it's just too difficult to coordinate right here is candy's equipment she essentially has a softball glove a chest piece and a hoverboard not sure what the hoverboards all about because um, or I'm sorry a hyperboard uh, because she doesn't use a hyperboard at least I don't see her running around <laughs> in the game though I could be wrong the other thing I want to mention about equipment and the developers have been very specific about this your equipment does not impact your stats during PvP battle your equipment only impacts your PvE stats so keep that in mind and again, to upgrade the equipment, you have to do the missions. Next, I'm going to go play a game and I'm going to do commentary in regards to her abilities and some in-game strategies that you can use that I have found very useful. All right, I am in a game and we're ready to rock and roll. Thankfully, I was able to pick candy. So far, um, I don't think that many players have candy, so I've never had an issue selecting her as my hero yet. So I have, I have a... Oh sweet, I have, a, uh, I have a melee and I have a support class. That's really nice. That's a good balanced team. Oh, look, geez. So, so we're going to get Sex Man, Chicken, and a Guest. However, all three have three runes, which, well, okay, that can mean they're really, really good or they're really, really bad. Now, you can only move once the minions spawn. So the minions have spawned, and this is when you can go out. Here is the area of distance that you can use for your default and your shock balls. Which is a pretty good distance. Now, now you're supersonic. You can throw across the entire map. And, and I'll show you that in a bit. So just talk about the first skill. Which is the shock balls. And the second circle is basically where you place your shock balls on the ground. And again it acts like mines. Um, it's extremely effective. 
And so those are the mines. And then I'm going to show you the supersonic ball, which is basically the big DPS attack. Now, you can also slide out. So if, if you see the arrow on my on my character, I slide out to the back and then I do like a quick sprint. Um, that comes in extremely handy. Uh, let, let me show you the shock balls again. Again, you can, it's, you can put the shock balls anywhere on the ground. You just got to aim them, put them down, and they're there for about uh, quite a bit. And then here's another Sonic Ball. I'm, I'm sorry, Super Sonic. And that's a slide right there. Um, you know, you can slide in any direction, which is really nice. Again, it is a fantastic escape method. Also, based on my rune build, my, my slide allows me to... Um, it debuffs me from any roots or slowness, which is why I really like <laughs> my current build because I can... Oh, I got some lag here. Uh, okay. All right, never mind. I'm back to normal. Um, so again, the slide is really important. As you can see, I'm getting hurt. I can slide right here. And that was a really close one. <laughs> so you can really see why I like that slide. I should definitely be dead after that. So let me try to show you some uh, Sonic Balls and Super Sonic combinations. Um, I have gotten a lot of good kills off of this combo here. So essentially, as you can see, I put that... Oh, wait, wait. Let me try to get, get out of that. Oh, jeez. I'm... See if they if they debuff you twice, your your slide is um well it's on countdown. So <laughs> thankfully I was able to escape there. Um, but again, always make sure, always keep in mind that you have that slide there because it's really important. Um, if you're ever in trouble, I mean that two second buff of, to sprint is really good. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Almost same same thing again. I I just got away with my life there. Um, where you position where you position yourself on the map in accordance to a turret or your other teammates is also really really important because your range you know you don't have a lot of armor and you don't have a lot of health so it's like, oh whoa, whoa whoa rockets rockets oh i got hit that's okay though i got a decent amount of health so here is <laughs> this is the uh supersonic that ginormous freaking arrow and i'm gonna just blast these guys eh. and they're these guys are not very really good. Oh my gosh, I died. Come on, I wasn't paying attention. One smart thing to do is while you're spawning, look at the battle map because you can move the map around while you're spawning. It's really important for you to make sure that you know what's coming up, like what battles are going on. Another strategy I do is I actually get my supersonic ready before I meet any enemies, like right here. Um... So I'll just leave it out, and as soon as I see it, it's like, oh, look, I just got that guy. Just at the edge of the map, which is awesome. Um, let me, oh, see, I'm getting taken out now because of the turret. And that guy just ran through all my balls. Uh, they must have just despawned because he did not stun, I don't think. Oh, 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 run, 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 run. Here we go. Oh, that guy must have two debuffs because first he grabbed me, which was a stun, and I ran away, and then he, he taunted me again. But that's all right. Let's see. So let's see. Here's my Super Sonic again. And again, you can power it up. One thing I do like is you can power up your Super before your you even see monsters. Oh, not monsters. Enemies on the map. So as soon as you see them, you can just launch it, which is really nice. Oh. All right. So where is the rest of my team? This lady here has absolutely no health. Um, my other teammate is south of me in the jungle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, more rockets. More rockets. No, go away. All right. I got to grab some health here. And uh, you know what? I'm going to come down here and kill some NPCs. FYI, killing NPCs does give your team XP. So... Oh, crap. Okay, so there's an enemy already here thinking the same thing I am. But I'm going to kill him first. Um, oh, he, he's he's the melee guy. But I think I got him. I think I got him. Oh, wait. Oh. Ah, jeez. You know what? I almost had him, but then my targeting went to the monster. I mean, went to the NPC instead. That's okay. So as you can see, now my team is almost level 7. The other team is uh, still level 5. So again, uh, killing NPCs is really important. Uh, definitely level up your team because you do a lot more damage. Gonna try to take these guys out with my combo. See, we're pushing really well here. We have minions. Uh, my entire team is here. They have one 
member that's down. They have two members that are down now. So this should be a really easy push to their base. Enemy turret has been destroyed. Pretty easy so far. Where are they? Here they are. All right, so let's do another. Sh try to drop down some balls here. We're at the base now. So, oh, uh, oh, oh, wait. Uh, almost, oh, I almost got that guy with my combo. Really close. Oh, geez, come on. See, there is that good slide again. Again, really important to have. Really, really important to have. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I'm, I'm stuck with the taunt. Uh, you know what? I should actually get out of here because <laughs> I'm, I'm taking some heavy damage here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Get out, get out. Oh, that was, again, that was a close one. I think that's at least three, three saves on my life that the slide has. Well, that was a little laggy there. Um, the slide has definitely saved my life at least three times. Um, again, a, a, an extremely useful skill to have. Um, I would take the slide over another damaging ability. So I'm going to start up my little super attack and just blast. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the guy moved. Um, again, one thing that sucks about the super is that there is a delay in launching it. So if you aim and the character move, or, or if your enemy moves, um, there's a good chance that you're going to miss. Oh, come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, uh, I think my my teammate got him. That's okay. I I I'm I'm sure I got the assist. Oh oh crap! I'm getting beat down here. Uh, I don't have any health, but I don't want to leave. Jeez. Uh, what happened? Oh oh my goodness! You know what? I didn't slide. Stupid. Unbelievable. Sometimes I forget how to play when when I'm near the enemy's base because I just I'm I'm so focused on trying to destroy the base. Oh. It's kind of Kind of laggy. What the heck? I just got a massive lag spike. That was strange. All right, so I've got to respawn again here. Uh, they're gonna try to push here because, yep, they're about to push. But I think we're still good as long as we can get back. Why is my other? I have a teammate down south jungling right now. Um, okay, maybe he'll get us to level nine. Um, so let me get out my super sign again and oh, kaboom! Put down some balls. So my whoa. I, that was another lag spike. That's weird. Um, all right, gotta play a little careful because it's two v two v three right now. But these guys have no health at all. So let me see if I can take a couple of these guys down. Uh, come on, come into my little mine area, minefield. I'm gonna start using minefield because I don't like seeing balls. <laughs> all right, so we got four minions. So let's just roll down here and let's see if we can. Where did the where did the other team go? They, they did. Oh, they all went back to heal themselves up. All right. Well, that's actually pretty. pretty oh crap! Uh, that I am not in a good spot. Not not in a good spot. Not in a good spot. Uh, let me just. Oh sweet. All right. So it's three on three again. Oh no! Two of them just died. Sweet. Oh awesome! I got a double kill. All right. So let me, let me try and just lay some mines down to secure the area. I'm gonna just DPS the mine down. I mean the base down. Okay, get, get out of the way. Get out of the way. There we go. Oh, sweet. That was a good win. Let's see. Battle is nine minutes. Not too bad. Um, again, I think I show... Oh, look at this. Oh, sweet. I got MVP. Eight kills, two deaths, and seven assists. And as you can see, the support player, Shiny, got ten assists, which is really nice. Um, for the other side, three, two... Eh. They did not play very well at all. I'm surprised because they all have three runes. But again, that goes back to me saying just because you're playing against people that have runes doesn't mean they know how to play. Uh, all right. Again, this was an overview of Candy and her abilities. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.